guys, John from Intune Motorsport again. Today I want to talk to you about six speed auto flex plates and their problems. Okay, so most of you have heard about the issues that they have and I'll just give you a quick rundown. So the car in the background, it's an FG F6. The car makes a little over 300 rear wheel kilowatts. Uh, it has 24,000 kilometres on the clock. Now this car does have a damaged flex plate in it and the boys last night removed the gearbox out of it so we can get over in a minute and just have a quick look under there and I'll show you what the go is. So what basically happens is that the flex plate starts to elongate the holes for the bolts that go through to the crankshaft and it, it, it will elongate those holes just a couple of thousandths of an inch and once that process starts it'll start to unwind the bolts out of the back of the crank and you'll end up with a sound coming from the engine that most people feel that the engine's had a complete catastrophe and it's been a couple of conrods or something like that. Um, so what happens is when uh, most people look at the problem, they'll pull the car apart and they think, oh, let's just lose flywheel bolts and put another set of bolts in it or we'll just retighten and away we go. That just doesn't work. Once those holes have started to elongate, that flex plate's going to fail over and over and over again. So what we do is we, uh, we manufacture a flex plate. This is it here. Um, and this flex plate has a reinforced laser cut insert put into the centre of the flex plate. Now we've been making this uh, flex plate for seven or eight years now, and uh, probably hundreds and hundreds of them, and, and we've found it's a great fix for the problem. So what we're going to do is we'll just head on over to the car now, we'll get underneath and have a bit of a look, and I'll, I'll show you what happens. Okay guys, we're underneath the car now here, you can see the... Um you can see the flex plate there on the back of the engine with the bolts in the back of it. This car is actually not very bad because the, the bolts haven't fallen out yet. Most cars come in the bolts have fallen right out. Um, if we have a look here and you'll hear the sound. You can clearly see that that flex plate's moving left to right. Okay, our flex plate is available. You can either give the workshop a call or you can come down and pick one up. Um, I'm only happy to talk to you and go over the problems you might be having. You can jump on my website, you can purchase one online, you'll find they're very competitively priced. I always recommend you use a brand new set of bolts when you, when you install a flex plate and that you make sure you, you torque the flex plate up correctly, install it correctly, and you use uh, good Loctite with them as well. But just remember, any time you can ring me up, you can ask me anything, I'm always here to try and help and, and get you through your problems. Um, you, know, you can go straight to the website or just give me a call here at the workshop. Bye for now.